Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shell Craft One in my old barn door, and I am back just playing with my scraps, and I kind of just want to do some collage today. Hope y'all are okay with that, but um, I've been working on tags and ephemera and things like that, and I've been... I've had this idea in my head. I've just been wanting to do some collage on some envelopes. So I thought we could do, um, these are just envelopes from my mail. And so I thought we could do some of those. And then I have this little piece that's from a Tim Holtz something. Um, I don't know. There was some kind of something, maybe die cuts or something in there. So I thought we could use that. Um, so I was going to show you real quick um, the tags that I finished from um, the scrap busters when we did the, the the tags so I did this one I think this is super cute it's um, this is a Herman Linda tag and it's got the cute little truck on the top and so you just take that off to flip it open and then you clip it back on and it holds it closed so there's that one and then there's this one hopefully y'all can see okay my lighting's not great in here I told Jeff tonight I said um, I'd pay a thousand dollars for some good lighting in here not really because I don't have a thousand dollars but he found me a light for thirty dollars <laughs> so he's gonna try and go and get it and uh, get it installed because I don't have good light in this room so and even I think maybe even if I had a good light bulb that would do really well so <laughs> so anyways um, I did this one with the Santa um, and just a couple of little things and then the doily at the top and the doily at the top because this is a Hermelinda tag it makes it so that it doesn't bother it when you want to flip it open and journal on the inside it doesn't it doesn't hinder you opening it so there's that one this is a little booklet um, I don't think we got to finish all the little booklets but anyway um, so I did this one and it's got the little picture on the back and so you can make it um, a little booklet you can add papers in there and pockets or you can just journal on it like it is so that can go in a pocket then there's this one and I added the little jingle bells this is a Hermelinda tag as well and again I did the um, uh, just a little button as the topper so that it doesn't hinder it when you open it to journal inside it so there's that one. Oh, sorry I bumped you then there's this one, which is just kind of a plain tag, and uh, not re not really a plain tag, but what I'm saying is it's a, uh, um, oh my goodness, it's not like a open, you don't open it, it's not a Hermelinda tag, oh my goodness, my brain don't want to work, <laughs> sorry, okay, so anyways, I just added the cute little girl, this is one of the little cupcake, um, uh, liners and that I have in the kits and so I just topped it with the cute little cupcake liner and add a little button so there's that one. Oh my goodness I'm so sorry I keep bumping this camera <laughs> if you ever had one of those days where just nothing uh, came together for you that's kind of my day today and I think that's why um, I just want to do some collage <laughs> Because with collage, you don't really have to think about it. You don't have to be, you know, super creative. You can just lay some paper on some paper and have fun doing it. So, anyways, so there's this one. I think he's a cool-looking Santa. Look at his face. His face reminds me of my Uncle Lemuel, who passed away a couple of years ago. Um, so, and it's red on the back, but I inked around the edge of it. So, there's that one. Then there's this one. And this one is a Hermelinda tag too. And I just put the little Believe in Magic and the little lace as the topper because that doesn't hinder it um, when you want to open the tag as well. So there's that one. And then there's this one. This one took me forever. I just couldn't get my... This is one of those... This, this one started my day and I couldn't get it together on this one. I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to do on it. And so... I just kind of had to set it to the side while I did the other ones and then I came back to it and it worked well. I think it turned out really cute once I quit fretting over it and just kind of let it happen. So there's that one. Sweet little girl on there. And there's this one. This is the, I looked for this reindeer forever and couldn't find it. I was going to use it on something else 
and never could find it and then I finally found it and <laughs> so um, I had this little tag that has the little reindeer antlers on it it's a hermelinda and so it's got the cute little bow at the top but um, I just did it on one of the pieces so that um, so that you can still open it cute little jingle bells so there's a tag then I did this one I did some stitching on this one and I kind of left the back open until I get ready to use it in a journal and then I'll decide what I want to put on the back um, in order for you to be able to journal on it so I love the little truck in the barn in the background and then it's got the little um, rusted barn star there at the top so there's that one and then there's this one um, I just kind of did simple on this one, but I like the way it turned out. I wanted to keep what was on the bottom down here. And so I just added Santa and a little postcard. And, and then I just did a couple of stamps on the back and inked it and stitched on the fabric tab. And then the last one is this one. And I just kind of did this one very simple, but I like the way it turned out. And I like the way it looks and stitched on a tab up there. Again, y'all know how much I love Santa. And I did some lines on the back of this one and a little stamp there at the bottom. So I did get a lot done. Um, I just didn't feel like, I wasn't feeling like it was what I wanted to do. And um, I don't know. So I'm just going to collage now and <laughs> we'll just do our scrap busters with collaging. And I've got some scraps here. And I just kind of want to play and um, do all kinds of stuff. And we're just going to have a fun day of it. So we're just going to get started. So I think I want to use, um, I want to try and use up what scraps are on my desk. Um, so I can get them off my desk. So I'm just going to tear the edges around that. And I think I'm going to turn it over this way. And put it up there like that maybe. Um, okay. Sunshine's practicing his guitar, so you might hear that in the background. I've got the door closed, but you can still hear it. But that's okay. Alright, let's see. I kind of want, let's just put this kind of in the middle. Cause I need something kind of squared at the top so let me let me get some paper I have a little bit of scraps here and I've got these little scraps here so we'll just play with these and see where we get with them all right so we need to find something to go in the corner I don't want pink ones let's put the pink ones in a different spot um, so I like the reindeer ones so we're going to start with some reindeer. I probably shouldn't have put that down there, but that's okay. Sometimes it's easier if you start with the corners. And then you can kind of work around them. But with this one, I think I want to put some words up under this to kind of go around the window can y'all see even see what I'm doing let me just move the camera sorry okay all right so I have some very vintage dictionary here and I'm going to use the end that is straight and that way it can go straight across that window all right so let's do that one first We're just going to glue them down, glue some paper to some envelopes. I hope uh, everybody's having a good weekend and a good week. It's, it's actually Sunday right now, but you probably won't see this for a couple days. So that's why I'm saying weekend. Um, we're just hanging out and I've been actually been working all day. I spent the day trying to find some Christmas things on the internet and get some things compiled together for kits and you know just kind of playing catch up from being gone to the lake you know it takes me a little while to catch up 
Okay, let's see. We have some red here. Let's use some red at the top. I hope y'all are okay with me doing collage today. I just, uh, I just don't want to have to think about it too hard. <laughs> Let me get rid of this. So, I've been watching videos, and, you know, I, I got to thinking about it. Sometimes you watch videos, and you think, oh, I can do that, and then you start trying to do it, and it just doesn't work for you, and that's what I was doing the last couple of days, and I was like, what is going on, and I realized that it was, it wasn't that it wasn't working for me, it was just that it wasn't my style, you know, and so you have to kind of find, now, these are, um, some pieces of um, Christmas wrapping paper that I found at the tractor supply and they are um, I do have these in the kits um, but we're going to use some of these on our um, on our on our collage so they're super cute and there's more but these are just the ones that I had kind of extra pieces of whoops now I've got them in the floor Hang on. Let me get them out of the floor. Alrighty. So I think I think I want to use this piece here as like a focal point on my envelope. So we'll pull that in in just a second. Um, I just want to kind of get things going around through here first and I think I'm going to put this little piece here and I think I'm just going to put some glue right here and stick it down and then I can trim around it but that way I know I've got a piece that fits well right here at the window part of the envelope and if you have a little bit of white left over can you see that? I don't know if you can see it. There's just the teeny tiniest bit of white. Um, what we can do is just ink it once we're finished. And it'll cover up that white. Okay, so we just cut that off. And then what else do we want around the bottom here? We'll probably have like a little strip here. Yep, that'll work. I think that'll work there. I need another little strip to go there. Maybe. Let's see. I have some coffee dyed paper. We'll just use it. Just tear us a little strip out of there. And this is actually just the branding strip off of a paper pack. But I mean, you know, that's cute. And it's got pretty colors on it. So you can use those. Hold on, Grace. She's mad because the my craft room door is closed. <laughs> she does not like it when I close my craft room door and she can't get in here. Hang on, honey. I'm coming. All right. And this piece, I'm just going to fold over like that because we've already got the glue on it because we're going to collage that back piece. I mean, the back part as well. So hold on. Let me let her in before she starts whining. Okay, <laughs> she's happy now. I hope she's happy now. Okay, this is some um, wrapping paper too. We'll just use a little piece of that. I don't even know where it came from. Okay, it's stuck to my book. There we go. And we have some Christmas music here that we can use. Yep. 
Let's just go for it. Okay, I'm going to go that way with that. And then we need something over here. Let's add some green. I got some green. can't see if that's upside down or not. Let me just make sure I'm getting this in the right spot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Goodness. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Um, we can use our red deer antlers here. I think I'm going to have to get a different book page. Don't throw these away because I'm going to show you in a video what we're going to do with those. After we put our glue on them, you can still use them. Okay. And you can use them for collage. There's lots of things you can do with them. You make little booklets with them, tags, all kinds of things. Okay. So I just need another little strip right here. What do we have that's different? We need something a little different. Nah, not black and white. Let me get rid of that. Oh, let's see. I have all these little strips. Now I do like that though. That would be cute. We'll just tear that right there. Whoops. Put that in the corner. And then we need just a little bit of something right here. And I have, this is just the edge of a book page, but it's not quite long enough. This one might be. Let's just tear down the edge of this so we don't cover up all of our pretty red. Oops. Okay, so now we've got the base, and then I want something to be kind of a focal point, and so that's what I want to use this for. So I'm going to just cut this out, and I love how it looks like a stamp. I think this wallpaper, not wallpaper, wrapping paper is so pretty. I fell in love with it when I found it. Alright, do we want to ink it? I think we want to ink it. And I think we want some words behind it. Because I think that blue doesn't really go good with that green. Or do we want... Wait a minute. Let's just slow down, Sally. Let's see if well, maybe we can use the horse. Maybe it will be a better focal point picture with the colors. Oh yeah, I think I like that better, but I think we need to cut a little bit of this white off the top. Even though we're going to get a little bit of our berries, but that's okay. Yeah, I think that's super cute. Okay, I don't think there's a whole lot we're going to be able to do with that. So we're going to get rid of it. And I think I want to add some of this out to the side. I love this paper. It's just like so pretty. Very, um antique and it's got that gorgeous patina already to it like there's nothing you need to do to it 
Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay, so we need to tear just a little bit here off the bottom. Don't throw that away though, because I'm going to use it. All right, I need to make sure that my page doesn't have a whole lot of glue on it because this paper tends to stick to whatever glue is on my glue book if I'm not careful and then it um, it tears it and tears it up because it's so such a fragile book page but it is gorgeous okay so we're gonna come over a little bit with that and then I do think I want to ink the edges of this I think I want to Pull up the side of this a little bit better. Just make sure it's good and straight. Of course, it doesn't really matter if it's good and straight or not, but I don't even know why I'm being picky. <laughs> okay. All right. So the wrapping paper is so thin, it's kind of hard to ink the edges of it. So if you lay it down, your book this just makes it a little easier to get a little ink on the edges there we go okay I like that and then I think I want a word or something Let's go ahead and put this down, though. Go ahead and get some glue on it. Get it down on the envelope. Sorry if y'all can hear the TV. He's watching a movie, I think. Okay. We're gonna put that there. Oh, I think that's so pretty. I love that with the horse. And then I'm gonna put a little word maybe right here. Um, I found these words. Um, I think um, I think it's called Creative Crafts for You. I'll try to link it in the um, in the box below. Um, but she had all these different labels with words, and they're super cute. So. Um, I hate that this printed it didn't print right on the bottom let me see if I've got another one that printed better well nope, I wasn't paying attention to my print settings and I guess I just I printed them all incorrectly hmm okay well let's just use something else because well that already says December 25th so we don't need that um how about let's do naughty or nice these are super cute there's um these that look like um kind of like chalkboard and then y'all i have a friend who has begged me and she's like please please do a farm digital and i just i just ran out of time i was gonna try and do it and i wanted to do it and i just ran out of time honestly so i don't know how it is i always let the holidays sneak up on me but i did I was going to show y'all these real quick. If I can get them. Okay, so she's got the red plaid ones. And there's the little, um, um, like, chalkboard ones. There's red plaid ones. And I think these are all say Merry Christmas. These have, um, these have different words. And then there's this color. They all have the same words, but it's just in different colors. And then there's with the white background. So they're super cute. And they work well with my farm stuff. So, um, again, I'll try to link her link below. And if I forget, somebody remind me in the comments. Because um, sometimes I, I say that and then I forget to put the link. And I don't mean to. But <sighs> my brain is not what it used to be. <laughs> okay. So, just 
put a little bit of ink on there and maybe we'll put this word kind of right there I like it and that's what I like about collage is you don't have to think a whole lot about it you just do it and get it done right <laughs> okay so put that right there and then that makes for a cute cute envelope to go in a journal you can put it on the side of the page or um, you know as a pocket or however or um, you know you can cut off some if they're too long um, but I I tend to make big journals so this works for me <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go ahead and try and get the collaging done on the back I don't know if I'll have enough time because I'm trying to do just like a 30 minute video this time I know I've been trying to do um, longer videos for y'all but um, I was it gets really hard to upload those and which I don't mind it's no big deal um, but I just kind of don't want to wear you out, you know, with the longer video. So I'm trying to switch it up and kind of go back and forth so that I don't, um, you know, I don't want to have 40 hour long videos and nobody wants to watch them because they're so long. <laughs> okay. Do some green. Do we want some green? No, I don't think green's going to go with that. Here's another one of those branding strips. Actually, I don't even have to cut that. I'm just going to tear it and then go this way with it. We'll put the straight part here. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. Oops, wrong way. Okay, and then I wanted to, I want to use this somewhere on the back. Don't let me forget. It's your job not to let me forget to use that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, I'm just going to use a very small piece of this down here in the corner if I can pick it up. Good grief, it don't want me to. Right there, maybe. Because that's, um, it's just got a little bit right there that's not covered. I don't know what's up with my glue. It's like smearing everywhere. I, it's glooping up. Gooping up, glooping up, whatever you want to call it. See what this does? Sometimes you have to be real careful with this brittle paper. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see. Oh, let's use some of this red plaid. Ooh, let's use some of that, too. That's pretty. I love this with the holly. Yep. Let's see. We'll go that way with it. I think we need to change our glue paper. Whoops. Okay, glue stick. Alright, so I'm just going to line this up right here on the very edge. And I'm not going to press down right there so that I can trim that up when I get finished. Alright, let's see. I don't want that red plaid right up against this black plaid. So what else do we have? We have these Santas that could go here. Yep. Let's just go there with that. I have no idea what he's watching on the TV, but it sounds like people are yelling. But I think it's just a lady that talks real loud. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's put this piece here. I don't know if she's just talking real loud or if he just has the TV turned up real loud because he does tend to watch the TV pretty loud. Sometimes I look at him and go, babe, that's really loud. <laughs> 
Okay, I don't know that we're gonna have time to get all of this finished. We're gonna try. Let's see, let's use this sweater looking one. All right, remember I told you we're going to keep this little piece and I'll show you what we're going to do with it. Well, now we're going to use it. Okay. See right here where I have, can y'all see right there, where I have just a little bit of a split in there? We're going to put that over that little split and cover it up. So even the little bitty pieces you can use. All right, let's see what else we got. I'm trying to hurry because I know it's uh, getting time to be done. I kind of like the green Christmas trees, but I don't think I want it to be that big of a piece. And let's tear off the edge over here. And now I have paper stuck to my hand. Oh, he's watching fishing shows. That's what he's watching. Okay, we need a big piece here. Let's try this red plaid. It's not going to be quite long enough. We'll just have to add another piece at the top there. Let's add this piece at the top there. Maybe I'm pressing too hard on my glue or something. I am heavy-handed, though. I do tend to be heavy-handed, and sometimes... That's why I think I use more glue than I have to use, and I think it's why sometimes my glue just kind of gets all whacked out, because <laughs> maybe I just press down on it too hard, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we'll put that there. Oh, we got to have a piece right there, don't we? Let's see, what do we have? What do we have? have that piece but I don't think it's quite big enough to go there however I could do that and put a little piece of words let's just do that there and let's see let's do a little piece of this new glue page for this one okay so there's the back of it and then we just need to decorate the flap so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here um, but um, just collaging and playing and having fun I'll come back and do um, the collage on this tag for you because I know I told you that I would and um, I'm going to do some more collage videos too because I'm just playing and having fun. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm, it's just been one of those days for me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, it hasn't been a bad day. That's not what I'm saying. It's not been bad at all. It's just been, I don't, well, it's been a busy day for me. Um, I don't know. I think I just got frustrated a little while ago because nothing felt like it was coming together like I wanted it to. And so, yeah. So I thought, well, I'll just go collage with my friends. So that's what I'm doing. So, hey, friends, we're collaging. So I'm going to put this on here while I'm running my mouth. So thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. I'm not trying to be negative. I'm not being negative. I'm just, uh, I'm just collaging and having fun, actually. And, um, but I just was going to let you know, you know, sometimes 
when you're crafting along and it's not get coming together like you want it to, grab you some scraps and collage until your heart's content, until you feel your creative juices flowing again, and it will help. So, I think I'm going to put some lace on here and make a pretty lacy flap on there. So, anyways, I hope y'all have a great day. We'll come back in the next video and do some more collage with some more scraps. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me, if you will. Big hugs.